April 21st, 2016. The world was in shock yeah. when you found out that Prince had actually died uh, from a drug overdose uh, in Paisley Park uh, Studios. Yeah. When you first heard the news, how did you feel? I was in denial. I was um, on a flight um, from Vegas going to Florida to look at some real estate and I had a layover in Chicago and um, I get, you know, I'm looking at the TV, I'm having a drink, you know, at the bar, I'm looking at the TV and I'm seeing all this, you know, and people are calling me and they're like, you know, something happened at Paisley Park. I said, yeah, I see. I said, one of the employees or something. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this one buddy of mine, uh, he called me and um, asked me, I said, yeah, I see. And I heard somebody, some employee or something. He's like, no, no. He said, no, man, it's Prince. He said, that was Prince they found dead. And I said, no, you know, that's bullshit. You know, I'm sticking with the, you know, what I heard originally. And I wasn't believing it. I was in den denial, which before I got on the flight, it was confirmed that it was him. So I get to Florida and it wasn't, you know, until late, late that night, man, that I felt the loss, you know, uh, it, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks um, because I guess just being in denial, I was just like, you know, whatever. But then that night, it just, the history, you know, the how long I'd known this guy, all the stuff we had been through, everything just hit me like a ton of bricks. Right, because you knew him since high school. Yeah. You're talking, what, this is the 70s? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Kids. 40 years, yeah. basically. Yeah. And, you know, he was really the, the main reason why you had a musical career and sure. he wrote your stuff and produced your stuff yeah. and used his fame to help you and you guys had your ups and downs yeah. but you're always you were you've always been connected to prince and you always will be connected to prince so here's this guy who's a musical giant that just in the middle of nowhere just Out of the blue. ups and dies yeah yeah did you know that he had some sort of drug problem well, to back up, April 16th, two months prior to that, almost to the day, uh, we did a show at Paisley Park. He, uh, true to form, some obscure phone call, you know, uh, yeah, Prince is looking for you. Uh, and like I said, I said, fine, we'll do a show. I said, but like I said, 100% upfront, wired, when I receive it, then we can talk. Two days later, the money was in my account. I'm like, wow, well, this dude's serious this time. So we go, you know, to uh, Paisley, and I saw him early in the day. We talked a little bit. He said he was feeling under the weather a little bit. He had gone to the doctor to get his sinuses drained or something like that. And uh, so then we do the show. And, you know, when I'm doing my thing, you know, I, I don't, you know, people always say, hey, did you see this? And I, I'm like, I'm somewhere else. You know, and so, you know, they were saying, no, oh, he was really partying out there and he was like gesturing the stage and he was just loving it. I was like, that's really cool. So um, we get done. And, uh, you know, I'm up in the dressing room and um, they're like, Prince wants to see you now. So, uh, you know, I've been to Paisley Park many times before, but it's 11, 12 o'clock at night. Walking down this dark ass corridor. And I hear. And I see a silhouette walking from the shadows in the dark and it's Prince and he's coming out. He's like, bravo, bravo, you know, and he's, you know, giving us, you know, uh, he's like, man, you guys killed it, you know. And so we go into the little uh, commissary there and we talk, uh, talk for an hour or so. And um, we are coming out and this is all in the book, by the way, uh, we're coming out and, um, you know, he gives me a hug. He says, I love you. And. Um, that caught me off guard because that was the first time he ever said that in all the years I've known him. And I was like, I love you too, man. Um, he's like, yeah, thanks for coming out. And he's like, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to go to Europe. We're going to do all this. All this, you know, he's really sound enlightened, you know, like he had a plan, you know, for real. And, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know, this something's, something's different here. And, um, Sure enough, two months later, 
you know, uh, he passed away. So then, of course, you know, I go back and I'm replaying this in my mind. And then, you know, so then I'm saying, uh, did he know something? You know, um, and, you know, was he trying to tell me something somehow or, you know, so, you know, to be honest, you know, I don't know. I, I what I do say about him is I I went through a drug problem at an early age. My body was able to bounce back. And I wish he did it then because the stage of life he did it in, there's just, you know, you're not that resilient. You can't bounce back like you can when you're in your 20s. So uh, that's, you know, to me, I kind of wish he could have got that out of his system back when I did and just be done with it, you know? Well, he was 57 years old. Yeah. Not old at all. Not old, but you, again, you know, you, you, you don't bounce back at 57 from heavy drug use like you would when you're 25. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Did you know about the pills he was taking or anything? I didn't. I heard, I, you know, I heard things, but I didn't know him. when I saw him, he just always looked like the same in control person, you know, very composed, uh, you know, uh, just straight to the point. Uh, so I didn't, you know, I didn't notice, you know, like, oh, man, you know, he looks terrible. He looked thin. He looked frail, but he always looked frail to me, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, I, 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 I had no clue.